Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Let us pray. Our dear Father and our God, we continue to say thank you because of your faithfulness towards us. For the grace of life and the gift of this new day, let your word, O oh God, come into our hearts and lives to rule us and guide us this day. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our topic today is Angels are real. Angels are real. And the readings are taken from the second book of Kings. Second book of Kings, chapter 19. Reading from 29. Second Kings 19, 29. And this shall be a sign unto thee. Ye shall eat this year such things as grow of themselves. And in the second year, that which springeth of the same. And in the third year, sow ye and reap and plant vineyards and eat the fruits thereof. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall yet again take root downward and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and they that escape out of Mount Zion, the zeal of the Lord of hosts, shall do this. Therefore, thus said the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shield, nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and shall not come into this city, saith the Lord. For I will defend this city to save it, for my own sake, and for my servant David's sake. And it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians an hundred, fourscore, and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. So, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, departed and went and returned and dwelled at Nineveh. And it came to pass, as he was worshipping in the house of Nisroch, his god, that Adamalek and Shareza, his sons, smote him with his sword, and he escaped into the land of Amnair and uh, Esuradon, his son reigned in his stead. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is St. Michael's Day and all angels. Today the church acknowledges the rules of the archangel Michael and all angels as messengers. The reason for the text under consideration Angels are created heavenly and spiritual beings that are superior to man in nature, in power, and intelligence, though not all powerful and all knowing. The vast multitudes of angels serve and worship God and execute his commands. Only two angels are named in the Bible Michael, who is like God and Gabriel, God is great in Daniel 10 13, Luke 1 13 and 19, Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. 
they make significant announcements of good news. As you see in Genesis chapter 18, verse 9 to 10, and Luke 1, 13 and 30. One of impending dangers in Matthew 2, verse 13, they protect God's people in Exodus 14, 19 to 20, and Daniel 3, verse 28. Matthew 26, verse 53, and they also serve as God's agents in the destruction and judgment of evil, as it is in our text. What did the angel of the Lord do in verses 34 and 35? And what was the result? To understand why God did what he did, see 2 Kings 18, 17 to 22. And the king of Syria sent Tatan and Rabasis and Rabshake from Lachish to King Hezekiah with a great host against Jerusalem. And they went up and came to Jerusalem. And when they were come up, they came and stood by the conduit of the upper pool, which is in the highway of the fuller's field. And when they had called to the king, there came out of them Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, which was over the household, and Shebna, the scribe, and Joah, the son of Asaph, the recorder. And Rabsheba said unto them, Speak ye now to Hezekiah. Thus said the great king, the king of Assyria, What confidence is this wherein? Thou trustest. Thou sayest, but vain words, I have counseled and strength for the war. Now, on whom thou dost trust, that thou rebellest against me. God still uses angels for his people today. He posts them to be on guard duty and to be ministering spirits, but worshipping them is forbidden. We should emphasize the ministry of angels more than we do the, the activities of demon in the church. Certainly, angels are real. They are messengers. They are sent by God to carry out missions. They are not to be worshipped like some people do today, but they are messengers of God for the good of man. Therefore, consider the angels as agents of good news and war as God will direct them to do. Do not worship any angel, for angels are not God. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for the services of angels. Help us to be equally loyal to you, like them, with less emphasis on demons. Bless our day, O Heavenly Father, as we go out and as we come in. As we go about our businesses this day, O God, may you also be with us in the various areas of assignments and services. Be with our families and be with all that we do. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.